Hey everyone, welcome back to what the heck? back to my channel. Um, I hope you haven't missed me too much. I know I haven't uploaded in quite a while, but I am back and um, I am bringing you a kind of like chit chat, get ready with me. But I'm going to be testing a lot of BYS products. Um, I was at Kmart the other day and I was like, oh, there are a lot of products that I have never seen before by BH Cosmetics because. Okay, so I'll give you the rundown basically. My history with BYS Cosmetics is that it was like one of my first eyeshadow palettes that I've ever bought. I bought the nude eyeshadow palette because it was like a naked palette. It was like all the rage by Urban Decay and me being poor, <laughs> not poor, but like um, me not having a job and being able to pay for my own things back then. So I went ahead and bought the BYS nude palette and it's like, just like a cheaper version of it. Um, the pigmentation was so good and like I was very surprised and I used that quite a bit before I got a job and um, I could afford getting my own stuff that was high end but I never ed ended up buying the Naked palette because I didn't see a need for it. Anyway, stay tuned for the video. Okay, so um, I thought we'd start out with primer, of course. I'm scared that my brushes are still going to be wet because I did just wash them last night. So a bit of them feel a bit damp, but what are you going to do? So I'm going to start with the BYS Foundation Primer in Hydrating. So this is the only kind of primer that I saw by BYS in my Kmart. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to apply a bit of that to the back of my hand. Just, oh, it's very like silicone Based. Um, okay, so I normally use the Too Faced Hangover Primer and I've just run out of that actually. So um, I normally just use moisturizer when I've run out of that. I'm just going to put a bit of it on my face and then rub it in. I'm using my e.l.f. kind of stippling brush and I'm just, oh, okay, my skin feels very smooth. Okay. Ow! <laughs> my nail just dug into my ear. Just too excited. So we have a few little friends. I have a pimple up here, a pimple here, and then one like under my nose that's going away, thankfully. But I just had my time of the month. And I never used to get pimples, but now that I'm off the pill, I seem to be getting heaps and heaps of pimples. I'm just going to put a bit more of that primer on my forehead and I'll just rub it in with my fingers just to get a bit more of a feel. So that, it is very hydrating, but it's it's very silicone-y if you don't like that texture. I mean, it's not a bad texture. It feels like it makes your face feel very smooth and it feels like a good base for the foundation to go on. So we'll just leave the primer at that. So next I have, oh, actually I'll do my brows next. So I have this BYS Brow Liner and Highlighter Pencil Duo. So I got it in the shade Brown and the highlighter pencil looks a bit pink, like very pink. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Um, but the brow pencil looks like a brow pencil. So I'm just gonna start by brushing my eyebrows out with my e.l.f. little lash and brow wand. And I just like to, I'm no expert at makeup, no expert at brows at all, but I see a few people do this. So I just kind of brush my eyebrows up. They need a good trim, but I just brush them up and then I go ahead with whatever brow product I'm using and I just draw a line that was a big line that was a dark line so I just draw a line kind of under the brow so I just like to draw a line under the brow and it kind of gives your brows a bit more of a shape um, and then when I do kind of brush the rest of the brows down I just like to go ahead and fill in the sparse areas Okay, so at the start, this was a bit like um, 
hard like the pencil wasn't as creamy as I would have hoped um, but once you start kind of working with it and it starts kind of warming up it's not too bad oh my god that brow is tragic and I just like to be very light at the front of the brow and then I just kind of brush everything out a little bit now I'm just going to do the other eye and I'll be back. The other eye, the other eyebrow, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back with the other brow done. Um, so my first impression of this product is it's okay. Like it starts out a bit hard, as I said before, but then it gets creamy. And I feel like that's the same thing with a lot of brow pencils. Um, I'm used to using my Maybelline Brow Satin or I use the Brow Precise, 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 um, which are more like crayon like um, and yeah I'll go in with foundation so I don't know whether to use a beauty blender or a brush but I'll start out using a beauty blender I bought the BYS pure silk serum foundation buildable coverage and I got it in the shade sand beige I mean that's the ugliest application of foundation you've ever seen Okay, we'll start out with this much, and I'm just going to dab it in. Okay, so it is lightweight. It blends really easily. I mean, the color is pretty good considering I didn't even test it. <laughs> okay, cool. So the only things I didn't really pick up were cream contour, concealer, and lip products because I was at, you know, in Kmart, they have they have the um, self serve like checkout things. Well, you know how like your main problem there is like um, item is not bagged or item has not been bagged or whatever. That wasn't my problem that day. My problem was the items wouldn't scan, so I kind of didn't even ask for help. I just kind of left the ones that didn't scan in the basket and left it in the store, and I just came out with what I got. So they're the only things I didn't pick up. So for concealer, I'm just going to be using my trusty little Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline Bit Me concealer. And I'm just going to conceal everywhere I would. Okay, what the heck? I did not realize that my face looked so bright where I highlighted. So sorry. <laughs> I will set my eyes. I'm going to set them with... This palette here this is the peach palette by BYS so this is like a knockoff of the Too Faced sweet peach palette um, I think it's really cute so these are the shades that come in I'm gonna be using not that one I'm gonna be using this one I think it's called dainty and I'm just going to use that to set my eyes So now that I've set that, I'm going to bake under my eyes using the BYS Translucent Loose Powder. So I purchased this a long time ago and this is the only loose powder I've ever used. I don't use loose powders too often. Um, I like to use kind of compact powders, but you know what, just for the sake of this video, I will use it to bake. So I'm just going to bake under my eyes today. I'm going to set the rest of my face using the BYS Matte Finish Compact Powder. And I just got this in the same color as my foundation. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe away that bake now. This brush. Ta-da. We're going to get started on the eyes now. I'm not 100% sure on what I want to do, though. I should have thought about this before I started filming. It doesn't look like there's, like, a crease or a transition shade. I might just use the bronzer that I got by BYS. It's the matte bronzing powder. I'll just go in really lightly with a um, little fluffy brush and just... Focus that on the crease. 
Let's just take a, another fluffy brush. This is the e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm just going to take that to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit more. These eyeshadows are really easy to work with. They're easy to blend. It's like what you want in an eyeshadow. Just something that's easy to work with, quick. You don't need to dip in 10,000 times to get a like pigmentation and then I might go in with a bit of like a pinky shade and use lavish um, on another blending brush and that's this color right here and I might just use that to mix it up a little bit I mean, that doesn't look too bad, right? Right? <laughs> I'm going to use a clean blending brush and just blend out this eye. Just because I feel like it's a bit too harsh. I'm going to use a little brush and put a bit of concealer on this brush. And we're just going to kind of use this to carve out the lid using a flat little brush and then I'm just what should I dip into I don't know there's just such lovely sparkly colors in here I just hit myself in the nose I might go for the pink so I'm going to use cheeky and just pack that on over the concealer kind of am mad at this eye but I mean nobody's perfect right okay I'm gonna leave it like that because knowing me I'll probably somehow wreck it um, I'm gonna move on to the face again and then we'll come back to the eyes so I'm just going to bronze the face with the matte bronzing powder this looks like a bit more of a contour a contour a contour a contour a contour <gasps> I just broke it I was thinking too hard about how to say it and I broke it no okay let's try and put this back in got it okay I just clips back in that's good that's handy so I'm just going to take this on a BH Cosmetics 126 brush and just use it as a bit of a contour mm, it's a bit muddy but you can blend it out i took that way too far and down i mean that's not even funny why did i do that why let's clean that up a bit we are going to use the sculpt and glow palette this has highlight bronze and blush shades in it so this is what it looks like these are the two highlighting shades two blushes and they're like sparkly bronzer i'm not going to touch that i don't whoa i don't like it i don't think i like sparkly bronzers like this so i'm just going to use the blush and i'm going to use peach which is this nice little shade there or should i use the other one to go with my pink eyes maybe the other one I'll use rose I think that went okay the I owned this palette before I went and bought everything else this is amazing I love the blushes I love the highlights and I'm going to be using the highlights from this palette so they have pearl and champagne these two right here I'm going to be using pearl and, and yeah, just take a pearl. See how amazing. I'm going to go back to the peach palette and use lavish and go underneath my eyes. Brow bone highlight. I'm not going to use that one that came with the brow pencil. I'm going to use the shade here, which is called Dazzling. Um... Yeah, I don't really want to touch that other shade. I don't like it. Okay, cool. And then I might take Flashy, which is 
the end shade <clears throat> and just put it in my inner corner. Next, I think it's just time for mascara and uh, uh, false lashes. I'm so scared about the false lashes. Like, it's unbelievable because I can't even apply them. But we'll see how it goes. I'm just going to spray my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I purchased the BYS Mascara Volume, Volume and Lengthening. Yes. Um, they had so many mascara options that I got a bit overwhelmed. So I just purchased this and we'll just see how it goes. Um, I'm just going to curl my lashes. It doesn't really make the biggest difference because I've wrecked my eyelashes. Let's try this out. I like the wand. If you can see that. Not too big, not too... Okay, so this is how the mascara ends up looking. I don't like it. <laughs> These are the lashes that I will be putting on. Um, and yeah. Okay, so this is the finished look. This eyelash is literally about to fall off my eye. But um, I'm not too impressed by the eyelashes. Uh, they're a bit thick for my liking, a bit too dramatic. They didn't have any less dramatic ones than these. They only had like triple lashes. These are the double lashes. So yeah, um, a bit confused by that. But anyway, I really, really liked the peach palette. This was probably my favorite thing that I tried today. And yeah, um, for every other product, I mean, they're fine. I am not wearing this all day though, so I can't really give a huge like review but from what i'm looking at now i think everything looks pretty good um if i do say so myself but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope to see you in my next video bye Mwah.